questionable. This is uh, this is one of my favorites here. Channel Four is Kathy Newman. Uh, I think I think this was in Canada. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Did you watch this? Because I posted the whole video on my Facebook page. Uh, I didn't with, see uh, it with Jordan Peterson. Yeah, I Sorry. know Jordan Peterson. Awesome. Yeah, his, his voice is. <laughs> He's awesome, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Kathy Newman interviewed Jordan Peterson recently and showcased multiple times that she was out of her league and ill-equipped to handle the intellectual debate that Peterson provided. So I, I pulled out one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is actually the favorite segment yep. of this uh, interview. Uh, one of my favorite exchanges happened when Newman posed a question to Peterson about why he feels he has the right to offend people by using the wrong pronouns. So let's take a look at that. Do Okay, huh. you cited freedom of speech in that. Why should your right to freedom of speech trump a trans person's right not to be offended? Because in order to be able to think, you have to risk being offensive. I mean, look at the conversation we're having right now. You know, like you're certainly willing to risk offending me in the pursuit of truth. Why should you have the right to do that? It's been rather uncomfortable. Well, I'm, I'm very glad I put you on the spot. <laughs> well, I'm very glad that I have no, you get my, my point. You get my point. It's like you're, you're doing what you should do, which is digging a bit to see what the hell's going on. So and that you, is what you should do. But I, you're exercising you see, your freedom of speech to certainly risk offending me. And that's fine. I think more power to you as far as I'm concerned. Except you haven't sat there and I'm just trying, I'm just trying to work that out. I mean. Ha, gotcha. You have got me. You have got me. I'm trying to work that time. through in my head. Yeah, yeah. It took a while. It took a while. It did. It did. <laughs> oh, so great. Ha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I saw the light bulb. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It just, it just dimmed. Actually, it was pretty dim to begin with for. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, so uh, this this video is actually full of a bunch of she just she was relentless in her questioning mm. on uh, this had a lot more to do with the gender pay gap and everything yeah. which Jordan Peterson just outright demolished and said does mm. not exist. Yep. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the people that's tuning in right now posted on a uh, video in regards to the gender pay gap, mm -hmm. and they got involved in a back and forth argument and debate with a female, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and one of the points that my friend pointed out was that when you hear about the gender pay gap, you typically hear about women within the workforce that say, I know somebody who gets paid less than a man. Right? Yeah, yeah. And rarely do you hear, I found out that I was getting paid less than a man. Yeah, right? yeah. So he said, find me a person who's getting paid less than a man in this in an equal position. And I would like to hear their case, mm -hmm. right? So one woman responded to him, and she said that she found out a year or two later that she was getting paid less than the man who was hired two weeks after her or before her or something like that for the same position with the same degrees and everything, right? I very simply posted under that. It's a very simple, straightforward question that is not brought up that often in, in regards to the gender pay gap. Did she negotiate salary? A lot of times, and this is just statistically known, women will go into a business interview yeah. and accept what is given to them. We are going to hire you at this at this rate. Is that okay with you? Okay, great, you're hired, right? Yeah. So what if the guy got in there, right? Same interview and everything else, and they said, uh, first, let's say she was offered thirty five thousand. Okay, yeah. just to go off of that, and they go through the whole interview, and the guy, the interviewer is like, "That's great. Okay, I I I want you to work here. Okay." Uh, we're going to start you off at 35000 And the guy goes, listen, um, based on my research and looking into this company and everything and this type of position in this industry, uh, I see that people are getting paid 45000 to start. And to be honest with you, I can't work for less than 45000 because I have a family or whatever that is. And she could say the same thing. Mm -hmm. She could say, she could give any reason. She could say, I'm not going to do less than 45000 right? Mm -hmm. But this is what he says, okay? Yep. The employer has the opportunity at that point to say, no, sorry, it's 35000 or nothing, right? Or it could go the other way, and he says, well, listen, I see the value in you as, a, as an employee. I'm going to go ahead and give you the 45000 Yeah, or he can say, well, I can do forty. That's like the most we can do. Right, yeah, it's, it's a negotiating process, yeah, right? Yeah. So in that kind of case, right, is it, is it the responsibility of the business owner or the HR department to then retroactively go back to the other hire and give her a pay increase because she failed to negotiate for it. Mm -hmm. The point of being in a business is to make money. 
Yeah. They felt it was necessary in order to maintain this employee, this male employee, mm -hmm. to give him the, the, the starting salary that he was mm -hmm. asking for. It's not his fault nor the business's fault that the female employee of the circumst same circumstances that she didn't negotiate. Yep. And I'm not saying that this is all around the only reason why females get paid less than men yeah, in yeah. the same industries, right? By no means. This is just a small percentage. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is maybe in order to help alleviate this type of situation specifically, colleges should be offering courses to women on how to better negotiate starting salaries and pay increases. Yep. So that they can have the skills required mm -hmm. to go into an HR department or in an interview and successfully negotiate a higher salary. Yeah. That's all there is to it. There is a real world example of exactly this that just happened. Okay. Um, with, uh, I don't know if you've heard about it, uh, that movie, All the Money in the World, mm -hmm. that uh, that Kevin Spacey oh, okay. was cast in, they had um, to do reshoots. Mark Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg got Wahlberg paid and... substantially, like, a lot more yeah. for his research, yeah. but Michelle Williams got, like, basically, like, oh, a thousand bucks or less. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it, I read through the articles, and he had negotiated his rate for reshoots. Yeah. She didn't. He should and now what he did as kind of like a show of faith, you know, also because he was getting villainized completely, even For though no nothing, nothing of this was wrong. his fault. Um, he donated all of that to some to the Times Up charity or whatever, you know. Um, but uh, like, he negotiated it. She didn't. I mean, what do you want? You know, it's nobody's fault. <laughs> so. I won't even mention what, <laughs> what Billy said there. <laughs> I saw a couple. <laughs> I saw a couple there. Um, <laughs> So in regards to this interview, though, uh, if you want to Google it, or I'm sorry, YouTube it, ch uh, just look up Channel 4's Kathy Newman interviewing Jordan Peterson. I, I promise you, it's, I think it's about an hour and a half long. It is just a full-on demolition of this woman, okay? <laughs> From start to finish, it is completely it's so, worth watching. It's so great when you see a an intelligent person, oh. like, debate... <laughs> Someone that's so <laughs> sure, yeah, so sure that they're yep. right on everything. Yep. Right. I, I, I even admitted, like, I, I laid out what mm -hmm. one reason, one reason why females may make less than a male in this in a situation, yep. right? And I say right away, I said immediately after that, that is not the only reason why this happens. Yeah. But it is one of the reasons. One of the reasons. Yeah. I am not a... completely sure on why everything happens. There are certainly sexist people out there in yep. interview situations. But you have to understand, there's nuances to everything. Yeah, I sure. I, I just watched another video of someone interviewing uh, folks at the Women's March, and um, next topic. And they were, <laughs> <laughs> and they were talking about. Uh, they asked someone. Someone said they were there protesting the wage gap and all this. And the guy was like, "Well, you know, you do know that the wage gap also doesn't take into account hours worked, the yep. professions. They just go by dollar for dollar, yes. or whatever, you know." And um, and and then I and I've heard this argument before. I love when they say, "And if the wage gap was true, why wouldn't companies just?" Hire women and save money. Yes, and men would not get men wouldn't get any jobs yeah. if they're so greedy. They would want to save as much money as possible, yep. and then they should just hire all women. The and men would not work. Just fall apart. Oh god! <laughs> they don't know you what to see say. the face. You see, just like uh, 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 that guy just uh, stared at the interviewer. Yeah. in that, and I know what video you're talking about. Actually, my friend Kira Nuance bro showed up in it. Oh no, I watched another one. After. Oh, okay, yeah, because so, he, he yeah. asked the same question. Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, like I said, Kira is the one I'm going to be interviewing at CPAC this yep. year about California laws and everything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah.